Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Mario Party 9! Mario Party 9 playthroughs, anyway. I don't know why I keep saying Let's Play. I guess just out of habit, because it's been a really long time since I've done a Mario Party project. Alright, we're gonna get this party started yet again. Yeah, it's just us. We're really cool. We're playing with three computers yet again, and as always, we are being Wario. Whoa, what is new? We're gonna have Waluigi be part of this board, as well as Daisy, to honor Mario Party 3, which I have been, for whatever reason, really in the mood to play lately and obsessed with, and I even had like a spontaneous stream last week where I just, I couldn't help it. I had to play those games, so... Um, alright, have we had Mario yet? I don't think so, so we'll have Mario as well. And if we have, whatever, we'll see him again. I really don't think we have, though. I think we had the three idiots the first time, and then the three, like, kind of misfits last time. So far, we've done Booze Horror Castle and Bomb Bomb Factory. I've had a request to do Blooper Beach next, so that will be our next board. Uh, calm difficulty, we've left it at normal. I kind of want to try hard and just see if it makes any sort of a difference. So I'm I'm really kind of curious. It doesn't seem like anybody's doing anything too crazy just yet. Let's check out handicaps. We won't mess with them, but I just wanted to see if that was just stars or... I mean, I guess there aren't any coins in this game. I never really pointed that out, but... Huh. Interesting. Alright, sorry. I just wanted to take a gander at the settings a little closer. So, here we go. Oh. I love the beach so much, and I miss the beach. I haven't been in far too long. Welcome to Blooper Beach. Want to learn about this stage? Yes, please. Duh. Okay, on Blooper Beach, you'll troll? That's a... An interesting word, okay. The tropics for many stars as you make your way towards the goal. In the first half of the stage, you'll meet dolphins who will give you many stars and sushis who take them away. Well, come on, sush. Don't be like that. In the second half of the stage, landing on an event space will cause the Hucket Crab Ship to fire its cannons. Every time this happens, many stars will become many stars, and vice versa. Well, that's kind of cool. Try your best to recover all the many stars on Blooper Beach. That's kind of cool because, um, this kind of incorporates all the beachy... Well, maybe not all of them, but a lot of past Mario Party beach gimmicks. So, huh, that's pretty, pretty unique. Like with, um, the whole dolphin thing from Mario Party 8 and um, the cannon thing switching stuff up like in Mario Party 1. Oh yay, I'm captain today! How exciting. Um, whoa, that was scary. Cool! Don't, don't say that. So this is kind of like a throwback board. Interesting. This looks very similar to Mario Party 8. Uh, what was it? Go it's Goomba's Beach on there, isn't it? Or something like that. I can't remember the name. It's been a really long time since I've played that game. I know, I'm really... I'm kind of disappointed in myself right now that I um, am not remembering that. Whoa! Okay, someone told me that if I shake the Wii Remote, it makes the dice block bigger like that, so I wanted to try it. Ooh, I get a new dice block. Alright, so there are quite a few topics that I brought up in the last video of this project. And I asked many of you to comment, or <laughs> many of you, I asked all of you to comment, many, many of you did. And instead of replying to each individual comment, because many of the comments were super similar and basically said the same thing, I wanted to just go ahead and address it and continue the conversation in this video. So, what I asked last time was I asked you guys to comment about how many Let's Players you watch at once. And what I mean by that really is how many Let's Plays do you keep track of at one time these days as opposed to in the past. Because in the past, it was very, very different. I feel personally that it was a lot different. That it was just kind of a different ballgame. Things were a lot more bare bones 
and someone commented, pointed out something that I think is a really big factor, and they made a really strong point with what they said. Um, hold on, what is this? Just one, two, three, nah. So anyway, um, somebody pointed out that back in the old days, obviously it was, you know, it, it feels like it was easier to, ooh, free for all minigame. Feels like it was easier to follow multiple projects and people updated more frequently. Even, you know, granted, stupid finger painting, granted, videos were shorter, so it was easier to do that. It was easier to keep track of more projects. However, I'm going to read the rules, rules for this really quick. Launch the paint blobs at the canvas, cover the most... Okay, this is really super easy. Alright, so anyway. However, these days, this person pointed out, things have gotten kind of... Start. Kind of weird on YouTube in the way that... I feel like stuff is so professional these days. Like, oh my god, we have to be ultra professional and crazy. Or we won't get views and we'll be stupid, that it's kind of taken away the charm. And it's really unfortunate to say that because, you know, I, I get that, I get that being of high quality, being, having really professional looking video is important, but at the same time, something is lost in that when everybody's videos become so professional and YouTube has become so professional overall like wow this is where you can get a job and you can do this and make your videos look amazing and market it just right it's kind of I mean obviously it's taken a leap forward in the respect that yes things look better but it's taken a step back in just the charm and overall appeal that videos used to have I think I, you know, that's my personal opinion, too. This is something that, again, I'm going off of a comment that somebody left saying that things are overly professional and almost, like, up to too high a standard now to just be, like, YouTube. And I think it's because YouTube really is becoming, like, the new TV. Like, people aren't paying for TV as much anymore. People are going to continue to pay for actual, like, cable less and less. It's going to become, like, kind of an all-in-one package. But every transition like that is kind of slow. So, you know, in the meantime, you get these kind of awkward phases. Now, I think that, for me personally, I really have noticed this whole change of, like, professionalism in these videos and whatnot. And... I kind of want to, you know, I do, it's like I miss the days of just recording tons of content, editing on something dumb and like little, not that it's dumb, but you know, something that wasn't such a huge jumbo program, editing on Movie Maker is just so much more basic. Yeah, when I say dumb, I don't mean dumb, I mean awesome because I love, I love Movie Maker. <laughs> But anyway, it's always going to have a soft spot for me. Um, pull the vines to pick the vegetables and move the weaver mail as fast as you can. And fill your basket with the most tubers to win. What? A and B. Alright, I don't really know what this means, but I'm going to go with it. But, you know, there was just, it was much more, it was much more simple. A lot simpler back then. Oh... Okay, this is really odd. Ooh. Holy God, how did we get 39 and everybody else got like in the teens? Ooh, new record. I liked that game. That was fun. Um, so anyway, bottom line, almost every single one of you agreed. You follow way less people these days than you did before. Something someone else pointed out is that things have gotten really bloggy and more about like personal life and more reality based and I, you know, I am also at fault for that. I really, I've, I've gained a lot of respect for that 
genre, the whole like blogging genre, and I think it's really interesting and a lot of fun, but what? I didn't want to discard that one. Crap, I meant I thought it was gonna replace with that one. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, you know, things have just gotten a lot more. I, I think that's just it right there. Things have entered reality a lot more than back in the day and in a different way it's like reality is a show versus reality is just plain and simple how things are I don't know if that makes sense if my if my point is coming across I just think it's a really interesting topic in general and I'm really thank you guys very very much for commenting with your thoughts and opinions and I'm sorry that I've talked about this for like 10 minutes I didn't mean to go on about this like <laughs> for you know, the entire video. Um, but I really just, I really appreciate everybody's feedback on that. I would like to bring back the charm of YouTube. So, now's the time where I'm gonna say any suggestions you guys have for me, I am all ears. Please don't be shy to bring your thoughts and opinions to the table. Oh my god, it's sushi. I've been craving sushi for like weeks now and I still haven't had it because my sister's in Japan she posts all this stuff about the Japanese food that she's eating and I'm like I need to go get food but I haven't done it yet I need to mostly because I haven't like had I really haven't just had a good opportunity to be like oh I'm gonna go get sushi tonight it's like I always have something else going on that it's like my eating schedule has been really um you know it hasn't been very flexible lately so no time for sushi it's really unfortunate um so anyway yeah sorry I just interrupted with that random thought but back to what I was saying I just please let me know any thoughts that you guys have or any additional thoughts you may have on this topic because I think it's really interesting and also let me know if you'd like me to do like, I don't know, another video on this topic. I recently released a thoughts video on the Wii U game Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. I wanted to talk about that a little bit this time too. But if you're interested in me releasing a thoughts video on the change in YouTube, please let me know. Because um, I, I think it'd be really interesting to do something like that. Ooh, we played this before and I didn't know what I was doing, so I'm going to read the rules this time. Press A to switch between your position and your angle. Press doo-doo to adjust the two, swinging the Wii remote while holding B to... Okay, I don't know what I did last time. I thought I pressed A and it just went, so maybe I moved the Wii remote too fast and it just... Sensed it, like, oh, you... You did this. Oh, I'm going first, alright. All right, girl. Start. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well. Ooh, I just... Sorry, I just hit my microphone. Didn't mean to do that, but... That wasn't as, as good as I thought it was going to be. Lame. Oh, that was kind of cool. Nice, Waluigi. Well, he beat me. Oh well. Um. So yeah, I released a thoughts video recently on- What? No way! Are you kidding me? Well, that is the difference right there between normal and hard, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus. Okay, Mario, are you gonna go sometime today? How did she even do that? That was insane. I came in dead last. Finish. Ugh. Okay, that was just painful after seeing that. Good lord. I'm not doing so hot, guys. I might have to go back to normal after this. Anyway. My recent thoughts video that I released was all about the new Animal Crossing game that just came out. And... A lot of you had the same opinion as I did in the video, um, and I mean, I kind of had a feeling a lot of people were thinking the same thing as me in that regard, 
but oh, what is this? Nah, we'll go with this. Please be okay. I've gotten like a one every time, so thank God. But anyway, I want to say that I appreciate everybody's thoughts on that video and everybody sharing their opinion on that as well. And I'll talk more about that after this boss battle. What do we want to do? Spike Strike, Cheap Cheap Shot, Socket to Lakitu? I'm going to say that one. That sounds interesting. Ugh. You know, I was really disappointed last time when we didn't even get a Bowser battle at the end. I didn't know that that could happen. I thought it was always Bowser at the end. So when it was like some rando boss, I'm like, what? Some of you, I think, were confused by my reaction. You're like, oh, it's not... It's not always Bowser. That was the final, but... Like, I just think that's stupid. Like, why wouldn't it be? Alright, hold the Wii Remote sideways. Press law to move. Okay, what? I don't... I don't know what we're doing. I guess we're hitting these blocks, and... Is this kind of a luck-based battle? Is that what I'm gathering from this? Perhaps? Start! I guess so. Ooh, it is! That's kind of cool, though. Ah! I don't want all these spinies on the freaking ground! Dang, I'm, I'm working it, though. Okay, way to go, Mario. No, way to go, me! Ooh, he's getting mad now. That's kind of a cute idea, though. Ooh, giant spiny! So cute! I love how cute he is! No, I keep getting just the one. No! I almost got three! Dang. No! Mario, not fair. Okay, I still have the highest score, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Yay! Captain gets first! Finally. Nice! Captain bonus! Alright, cool. I am holding it vertically. Thank you. Alright, mini boss defeated! Here we go. Moving on to Bowser's castle space or whatever. Yeah! Close to being in first. Not quite yet, but we're getting there. Alright, so anyway. Back to my thoughts video I released about the new Animal Crossing game. Yes, many of you shared the same opinion that I did. I can't say I'm surprised. I'd be lying if I said that. Um, some of you defended the fact that, you know, Nintendo is just trying to grow the Animal Crossing franchise, which I totally understand. I just wish they would do it in a more Animal Crossing respected way, not with like a random idea for a game just tagging Animal Crossing to the name. But what, why I'm even mentioning this in this video is because many of you, or I shouldn't say many of you, several of you brought up Mario Party and the way that Mario Party has changed and people's disappointments with it and how you don't understand why people are so shocked. Like, oh, um, you know, that people are surprised that Mario Party's different and they have a problem with it. And, you know, I understand your frustration because being a Mario Party fanatic where all people do is rag on the game now, it's really annoying to think like, oh, that, that was my, that's my favorite game genre. But at the same time, it is not the same game. And a lot of you pointed this out. You're like, it's not the same game anymore. Why are people making a big deal of it? Just deal with the fact that it's changed. It's not the same company. Whatever. You know, get over it, basically. And, yeah, it's not the same company. I get that. Um, you'd be stupid not to know that or not to acknowledge that now. A lot of people comment thinking, like, I don't know this or something. Like... They'll comment and say, like, well, you know that Hudson Soft is no longer a thing. And I'm like, wow, really? Thanks, Captain Obvious. Like, what? what is your point? 
Um, but more than that, I am frustrated with the same thing with the Mario Party genre these days, like for 9 and 10, that I am with my Animal Crossing rant that I expressed. And I will, I'm actually gonna, I'll go ahead and post in the video description a link to that rant so you guys can see it if you haven't. But what I am, my biggest concern is the fact that it's not really a, it's not really a game that fits the Animal Crossing genre. It's the same thing in Mario Party 9 and 10. It's not the same game, so why are they calling it Mario Party? Call it something else. Make a different game, make a different series. Don't freak out about it, just make it something else. Right? No, I don't even know what this is. What? I don't even know what I just did. Okay. Zoom room? Work with your teammates to catch Bowser Jr. as he races around the maze. Okay, cool. It's a team minigame. So, anyway... What? I just... that That's my biggest beef right there. Not the fact that... Oh my god, there's... Waluigi, get away from me. Not the fact that they're still making Mario Party games. And they're not the same. The fact that they're calling them Mario Party. And they are clearly not the same as Mario Party. They need to have... They need to have just made it something entirely new. I don't care if it's Mario characters. That's fine. But say... It's... It, just call it like... You, you need to call it something else, like Mario's board game, or Mario... I don't even... I don't have a good name. I don't know. Wow, Waluigi, you sucked at that just as much as I did. I'm glad that you chose me to compete with you. Um, so, anyway. I just think they should have given it a different name. They gave Mario Fortune Street a different name. That's not the same game. That's based on, like, a board game aspect. So what's the difference? It's the same exact thing. It's a different board game with a different name. That makes it okay. If it was Mario Party and it's nothing but like a Monopoly weird style board game, people would have a problem with it. They're going to continue to have a problem with it. When the company shut down, they should have just shut down this genre and said, Alright, we have to make something new. We'll call it something else. That's my problem, okay? That's my big beef. That's my rant. Ooh, this is like platform peril. All right, make your way across the floating platforms. Is it just, yeah. All right, cool. It's not an angle. It's not a joystick, so we can't really do that anyway. Ooh, uh oh. oh. I don't want to go forward. Ew. Is this like where if you fall off, you lose? Please. Okay, sorry. I thought I was gonna fall. Oh god, I thought I was gonna fall again. Boom, girl. Tetris. Oh, Mario! He's coming back! Woo! Oh god. Oh lord. Oh, you can like- I don't think you should be able to come back. Come on, make it more challenging. If you fall off, you just automatically get last or whatever. Cool. That's not fair. To be honest, like... What the heck? They all fell off once? I didn't think Daisy fell off, but I guess she did. I was gonna say, she should have gotten second, not... What's his face? Anyway. Dang it! We're in second by one! Why did you choose this path? All these freaking verses. I guess it's good, because we get to see more minigames. My gosh, sorry, I've talked, like, non-stop about things that really... I shouldn't say that have nothing to do with this game, but don't have nearly as much to do with this game as they should. Um, but I really just, I needed to talk about those things, so... In another respect, I, I don't care. <laughs> I wanted to um, recap from the questions from last video, and say my response, since I didn't get the chance to type out my response individually to everybody. And then I wanted to bring up my rant and the Mario Party side of that rant. Because some people seem to think that I was ragging on Mario Party like 
Like I was surprised or something that it's different now. No, that's that's nothing new, hun. That's that's old. Wanna hear the rules for sunken treasure? Yes, because I don't even know what this is. You'll board a diving platform and head underwater to bring sunken mini stars back to the surface. Players will use a normal dice block. Okay, I'm going to say that this is, like, luck-based. Kind of cute, but luck-based. Okay. Yo. Boom, girl. Boom. Oh, come on. How come I got four? Is it really going to go this slow through everybody? Why do we have to zoom out and then back in between people? Can't we just stay zoomed in? This is so dumb. Okay. Ooh. He's so upset. Ooh, well that'd be scary. Whoa. What are we doing? I don't understand. Let's just use regular. I really don't want to mess with anything else. Ooh, five. Oh, I guess we all... I didn't even look at the side to see, like, we all started with ten mini stars. I thought we were collecting them based on spaces, but then when we didn't collect any, I was confused. So, yeah, lots of rants have happened this week. I don't know... I've been in a snippy mood, I guess. Like, I've been ranting. Wait, what? What do you mean? We don't get to... Oh, okay, I see. Well, I'm gonna get it no matter what, because I don't have to pass any spaces. Mario, on the other hand, I don't know. But yeah, I just feel like because everything in my life and on YouTube and everywhere else seems to be in transition mode, I just had some thoughts to get out and like some rants to spill about it, so. And I feel like I haven't let, it's kind of, you know, a personal issue, but I feel like I haven't let myself talk about it so much that, you know, I like to be positive and everything all the time, but at the same time, I feel like I've kind of gotten lost a little bit in not sharing my opinion as frequently as I used to. Which, you know, is something I really respect of others when they share their opinion and they're open about it and they don't try and just, you know, be like, wow, this, everything in the world is amazing. Like, that's not realistic. I just, I want to come back to back to earth I feel like so many things have gotten carried away in a balloon up in the sky somewhere else and I know I pointed that out in the rant or the thoughts video I posted and it's just I feel like things are different now and I kind of am just fed up with it I want to point it out now and be like yo look this is not fooling anybody at this point so Alright, slide down the chain and dodge the spiked balls. <laughs> Be the first player to reach the ground to win. I'm sorry, I'm still... You know, apparently I'm a prepubescent boy forever. Tilt it! Whoa. Fine, we will. We'll work that tilt! Okay. Ooh, I like this music! Woo! Hello. Work those spiky balls, you work! Okay, come on. Yeah, 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 work it. Oh, work. Fierce. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna start saying. That should be Wario's new catchphrase. He should go, fierce, work, fierce. But then he he wouldn't be Wario. He'd be Madam Wario. So that, I guess, wouldn't work. I get it? It wouldn't work. Okay, what? What? How did I get four? The oh, god. I sucked. Sorry, Wario, I hit your butt on too many spike balls and failed. Oh my god. So, I don't know if I said this in the last video of this project, but I have decided to update this project every weekend. So this is functioning as my weekend project. 
Is this really a thing right now? This is such BS. Anyway, so far I've been uploading on Sundays. I don't want to just say like, oh yeah, video's gonna go up on Sunday because I might post on Saturday sometimes depending on, you know, what's going on um, that particular weekend. So it's kind of either, you know, I'm open to Saturday or Sunday. In rare instances, if I have to, I'll do Friday, but I don't like to post on Friday very often. This seriously just happened. We need to see this again. I mean, yay, I'm glad that they're not stars anymore, but thank you for this animation. Anyway, so yeah, I I'm planning on posting this um, project either Saturday or Sunday. Cause I'm not a big fan of posting on Friday because I feel like people are always busy on Fridays and have a lot going on, and... I don't know, it's just one of those days that I feel like whenever I post a video, it somehow gets lost and people don't realize I've posted a video and then you guys end up missing things and that seems to happen on Friday a lot. I don't know if like a lot of other people post on Friday, so I kind of try to avoid it a little bit if I can. In some instances it doesn't matter because it's just like, if I'm uploading like three videos a week, three parts of a certain Let's Play and it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then that's fine. But for weekend, I'll stick to like the actual weekend days where there aren't school hours, so.